This is friend quest. Okay, so let's do this. I'm not going to bother with that because it's a full heart. It's a full soul heart, and uh, I doubt there's anything in there. Oh. That's going to make a difference at this point. Okay, scapular is... I don't know if it's going to help me at all. <laughs> um, I don't recall which what I just unlocked. I think it just... Oh, you're so I think, glowy. I don't know what I did to unlock that, but I think that made it so that every run, there will now be one additional pill in the pill pool, Oh, which is actually bad. Right. Because most of the pills in the game are bad. Sure. But whatever. It's part of the game. That's one of the things that the game does to get harder. Um. So, oh, so, sorry. Scapular, it makes it so that I think anytime you take damage when you are at less than half a, or less than a full heart, you get a soul heart. I don't think it will do anything for me because I don't think, I think you have to have, I don't think it lets you do it if you have any soul hearts. Okay. Um. And also, there's no way I'm going to get to half a heart because uh, I'm taking full hearts of damage. So. <laughs> those, those, your, the flies were like trying to chase after, oh, after oh. it, I think. Oh, dear. Sorry. The uh, flies were chasing after it, but because it was spinning, they were having trouble keeping up. Yeah. <laughs> Just walk into a room and like everything gets swarmed. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have to remember to keep moving because I keep dropping. Oh, butt right, bombs. your butt bombs. <laughs> yeah, every night after Taco Bell, am I right? <laughs> Sorry. You know, I don't think they do damage all the enemies in the room. I think that's a different. What in the world did I do to unlock that? Oh, I blew up. Uh, I think they blew up some uh, uh, tinted rock. Oh, okay. It's real hard to tell what which ones are tinted rocks on this floor. But uh, I think the bombs that I drop from doing that. I don't think they damage all the enemies in the room. I think they just deal damage and they might poison enemies, mm. I think. Because there are bombs you can get that when you drop a bomb, it damages everybody, but then it also gives the room, like, the room gets cloudy whenever you do it. So, oh. so I don't know. Okay, so... Oh, you have to, oh. I have to blow these up That's and mean. activate this switch. But oh, it turns, it turns those into regular poops. Because okay. <laughs> there wasn't enough poop in this game, right? Right, 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 guys? right. right? Am I right? If that one could have gotten to me, it would have chased after me. Oh, is that like a that was, that was like a, a I don't know like a mega troll bomb? Sure. In that they uh, it it chases after you, but it was on a little platform, so it uh, it couldn't. Two so speed. double my coins. Oh right. Or not, not my coins, my uh, my keys. So I've got max out keys. Um, Wheel of destiny. I, turn, I'm, not turn, gonna, turn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother because it. Uh, mm. I already have the flies. Mm. Did I? I think I left my devil item or my my devil card way back at the beginning. And Screw I don't care I don't guy. care to go back for it. Technically, I don't have to use bombs anymore. I could just ooh, wait, a bomb just gave me a soul heart. Oh, wait, those bombs just give you items? Is that what it was? Yeah, okay. yeah, they, it's always a random item, but uh so I I could have just gone over here and then just fired shots for a few seconds and then I uh, didn't do it. Oh well. I I don't have to use bombs. Uh, from my stock to blow up walls, but I don't. I want to get this run over with. So this is another <laughs> harbinger. So this is death. So there are there's war, pa pestilence, famine, and death. I killed him real fast. Yeah. He dropped a second uh, ba a ball bandages. So oh, this cool. one is going to make this one a little bit better. So it still deals damage and really good damage, but also Aww. shoots little charm shots. It's got a cute little smiley face. Yeah. Um. Okay. So these are again pulled from any pool. This one on the left is, oh shoot, is the Cursed Eye, which I did not take last run because it's awful. Uh-huh. And then this one, I think, is a fly that floats around the perimeter of the room and deals damage, I think. <laughs> More In any flies! Case, I, don't want e I don't want either of them. I'm not going to. If they were actual Devil Room items, I might spend hearts for them, but not. not right. Those. I am going to run back to the beginning. Oh, I don't have to. Never mind. I was going to run back to the beginning because there was a soul heart I missed, but, but we're good. Oh, that's right. The pink bomb gave you one. Yeah. yeah. The glitter bomb. Yes. So this is the last floor. Okay. So uh, there's Isaac trapped in a box, Ugh, which... It's terrifying. Maybe some foreshadowing for later in the game if we ever get there. Um, an arcade. Uh, I don't <laughs> want to bother. <laughs> it's like, I'm, do I'm done with coins. Like, seriously, when I get to on this, this floor in particular, the benefits of ex fully exploring the floor are not... Are not sure. good. The, like floors after this, there can be benefits, but not this one. Okay. Uh, the the womb, I pretty much always want to just get done with as fast as possible. Gotcha. 
So like the the womb is just sort of like your introduction into how much the game is gonna suck. Pretty much. <laughs> but like these ones are just hard. The next few floors that I again I cannot access yet. Mr. Me. So that is an item that is very much inspired by Mr. Me Seeks from. Uh, Sorry, I'm going to go on a tangent here from, from Rick and Morty. <laughs> okay. It is a, an activated item that it's a little box. And when you activate it, you get a little aiming reticle. You aim it at something. Whatever you aim it at, a little ghost will appear, fly over, and do something different depending on what it is. If you aim it at some rocks, it'll fly over and blow up the rocks. If you're in a store and you aim it at an item in the store, it will go over, get the item, and then bring it to you, and it won't cost you anything. If it's an, an enemy, it'll fly over and blow up the enemy. So basically, you have a Meeseeks box. Uh -huh. You activate it, and then a little, a little guy. creature will go over and do whatever it is you need it to do. That's really cool. Yeah. Whoa. The poop bomb. I hit it with my tears, so it oh, flew across the room. Uh, uh, I think that is a thing that makes your shots poison. Um, I'm going to... No, I'll leave it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so what was I saying? Uh, th I feel like this floor is just hard, but the ones after this, which I can't access yet, but uh, I will in future runs, um, the ones after this, like, they're hard, but there is interesting stuff about them. But this one, no. So this item just makes it so anytime you get hit, you drop items. Oh, all right. Sometimes good, sometimes Jeez, just, just coins or whatever. Good. I know. Yay, coins <laughs> and bombs. Exactly what I don't have enough of. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, I'm getting to the end of a run, so that, that always happens. Now, there's like there's like the seeds where you mm -hmm. like where you can basically play the same run. Ooh. Uh, does Charm that, shots. Does it does like coins drop the same or is it just stuff literally everything will drop exactly the same if you okay. do the same actions you will get the same result every time if you're using the same seed gotcha uh dang it, i keep blowing myself up with these stupid butt bombs um but uh the thing about seeds is that you can't uh get any achievements like you don't you don't unlock anything from playing right. the seeds so i generally don't it's weird but it's hard for me to enjoy playing a game if i don't feel like i am working towards anything gotcha yeah the, yeah there's not some like greater goal at the end yeah okay so this next room is the final boss okay i i didn't use both charges of my uh space bar item because i want that extra damage up okay. not that it's going to make a huge difference but you know mom's heart let's see oh. how fast i kill it <laughs> very is the answer <laughs> so this this is actually a fairly difficult fight most of the time it starts out with mom's heart in the center, and there's some enemies you have to kill. And then once you deal enough damage to her, she, like, retreats and spawns more enemies. And then once you kill those enemies, she comes back, changes her pattern, and then, again, runs away, spawns enemies, and so on. But I managed to kill her pretty fast, so yeah. uh, I'm going to see what's in this devil room. Right. Okay. Question for you, Jeff. R okay. Should I go on to the next floor? So, so Okay. <laughs> Normally, I would get this chest, and that would be the end of the run. Okay. However, I forgot. Anytime you get a devil floor, uh, a devil room on this floor, it lets you go on to one of the next. So there are two paths that you can eventually go to. You can essentially go up, or you can go down. Eventually, you get to the point where the up and down options both spawn in this room, but mm -hmm. I haven't unlocked either of those. However, if you get the devil room, it always takes you down. Okay. Should I go to one more floor? Uh, I mean, we do got a little bit of time left. Let's do this. All right. Let's All go right. for it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you got a pr pretty good build going. So Yeah. Here's Isaac giving a flower to uh, a girl. Get pants. Somebody pants, her and pants him and the girl laughs at him. And I unlocked another character. Oh, cool. Eden is an interesting character because every time you play him, he has a completely random set of items and stats. Oh, neat. So, yeah. Maybe. Maybe neat. Right. We'll yeah. see. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some cards. Two diamonds. Yay, more money. It doubles the amount of money you have. Uh, chariot, tower, <laughs> and strength. I'll hang on to Scrimp. Hey, if you didn't unlock that one guy last time, you would have this time for sure. <laughs> right, right. Uh, if we're getting like 55 coins or whatever it was. Yeah. So this is the, the Sheol, which is like, oops, which is like, oh, damn, I think, uh, Hebrew for like uh, the the grave or something okay but uh so this one is 
all the rooms are black, and they uh, you will often fight bosses as normal enemies. And it's it's just generally pretty hard, but it doesn't have a lot of the like um, obstacles that the womb has. The womb has like a lot of pits. It has a lot of stuff on the floor that hurts you. Like uh-huh. sometimes the ro- there will be a lot of rocks, and when you blow up the rocks, they hurt you. There's a whole lot of weird stuff that the womb has that this doesn't. This is just a fairly straightforward don't get hit too many times or you'll die. Right. And also the enemies are pretty tough, generally speaking. Just gotta keep... This is actually a mini boss I could have encountered earlier in the game. Not very hard, it's just every time you kill him, he splits into two weaker things that bounce around. Oh, okay. I'm just... If you have if you have good damage, it's not a difficult boss at all. If you have real bad damage, you end up with like you eventually get a point where there's like six things floating around and it takes forever to kill a single one of them. Ugh. It's a good thing you're guppy. Yep. You're guppy god right now. <laughs> um so this thing I can't remember, but it has something to do with flies and or spiders, so I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm also gonna hang on to this. I don't even know what that horseshoe does. Okay. I mean, it said something about luck, but your character already has, like, some luck stuff. I think it makes it so that whenever you start a floor that would normally have an item room, there's a chance of there being two item rooms. Oh. I think. Yeah, so this guy, um... What a jerk. He mimics whatever you do, but my flies. Oh, yeah. (laughs) This made it a lot easier. Um, So I I think the horseshoe gives you two... Sometimes gives you two item rooms instead of one, but I got it at the point where there aren't going to be any more item rooms. So it was not, uh, not good. Whoa, whoa. I hate these things. Dang. I got a second sun. So I guess I'll take it. I'm not going to take that uh, eternal heart for reasons I said earlier. And yep. Jeez. Um, um, what is that? It makes your tears uh, bigger or something. I don't know. I got red coins. Oh no, I got a um, I got a power up that gives me charm shots. So occasionally there'll be charm shots, and those ones are pink. So because they're already yellow, the pink and the yellow makes them look red. Oh. Oh, okay. They tints them. I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Interesting. I what I'm doing is I'm trying to not just continually shoot, I'm trying to like shoot a little bit at a time and then right. stop because just keep an eye that, on those bombs. Yeah, that way I don't blow myself up. Yeah, because, yeah, right now at this point, like, your main enemy is yourself. <laughs> exactly, exactly. If I can make it to the boss, I will beat the boss. Right. Guaranteed. Especially with all the flies. Yeah. So little spurts and then let the flies do the, the do the rest. Yeah. Yeah, by the time you get to this floor, you're either so weak you're going to die no matter what you do, or you're so powerful you just destroy everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's another... I, I always feel like the womb takes really long regardless of how powerful you are. Whereas these floors, like you can, it's really easy to just, just power through them. Right, okay. yeah. So I've found the boss room. Gonna try to blow up these uh, blue flames. Uh, no, no soul hearts. Okay. Ready for... Oh, I shouldn't have used both of those. Oh, well. Ready for the boss? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So this boss... Oh, it's Satan. This boss has several stages. Hi, Satan. I guess he has two stages. Oh, three. Three stages, sorry. So this is the first one where you fight this thing, which then splits into two. Uh-huh. Maybe that's four stages. Then you fight this thing. Oh, yeah, you're immune to bullets. I, I guess, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. So I killed him. So now we're on this stage oh. where he stomps on you, and he spawns these things that blow up. But I have a ton of flies, so I killed him. <laughs> you're, the, you're just the lord of the flies, aren't you? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yes. Uh, so there you go. That was this run. Okay. So let's, let's get that uh, chest. And see the ending. Oh. It's a different ending than if I had gone in the bigger chest uh, when I killed Mom's heart. <gasps> what? What? Oh, God. So there you go. Uh, he, that was uh, that was an ending. <laughs> okay. So uh, he like hides in the chest from his mom. Uh, I guess. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna skip through the credits here. Okay. But uh, I unlocked a few things. So I think I unlocked that from having killed mom's heart. I unlocked Judas from having 
done a certain number of devil deals in a single run, I think. I don't know. So anyway, I won't I won't play again, but uh so I now have I have I haven't unlocked Maggie yet, but I've got Kane, Judas, haven't unlocked Eve, don't have Samson, Azazel, Lazarus, and Eden. So oh, Eden yeah, it's yeah. all question marks. It also takes an Eden token to play as him. I think you get an Eden token every time you beat the game. Okay. So like eventually I'll have a whole bunch of Eden tokens, but early on it's real hard to to oh. learn what Eden is like. Alright. So so yeah, that was the binding of Isaac. Cool. Um, uh, that's the second run. And the it was second run. It was that insane. Was, that was an insane one. Um, <laughs> I probably do make it look easy, but I guarantee you, it's hard, it's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just I gave, I gave up because I was just like I can't I can't keep up. There's yeah. Just too much going on. And on, honestly, like I was telling somebody about this yesterday, that games like this, they're really really hard, and the only way for them to not feel hard is there's a hump that you have to get over, and if you don't play the game a lot in a short amount of time, you're never going to get over that hump. If you sure. just play it a little bit, eh, bounce off it. A little bit, eh, you bounce off it. If you keep playing it and then coming back like a month later, you're probably not going to get over that hump and it's only going to feel like the hardest thing in the world. Right. So if you're going to get into a game like this, try to put at least a few hours into it, like in a good solid chunk. Right, yeah, you gotta, you got to dedicate a lot of time to it yeah. to get into the rhythm of everything. Exactly. But once you do, you'll be like, you, you'll be playing the game on easy. Cause like I was playing on easy or on normal or whatever. And you'll be like, how did I ever think this was hard? <laughs> it's still hard, but you're so used to how the game plays that like the things, everything that was an obstacle before you before, even if it's still an obstacle, you know how it's overcome, whether you can do it or not is another story, but you can, you know what you're supposed to do. Mm. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> so thank you for, for joining us. Yeah. And uh, catch you next time. All right. Bye, everybody.